Here's how we do a related t-test in R. The first thing you need to do is set up your data file. So go into Notepad, or if you can, some better editor, but Notepad is what everybody seems to have. Since it's a related t-test, that means you're going to have the same number of observations for both conditions. Now, at the first line in your file should be the names of your conditions. So, for example, if you were doing a test of, let's say, color versus black and white, you might want to use those titles. Or if you were doing something that had to do with a before and after condition, you might want to use those as your titles. No matter what you do, put your titles there. So let's, for the sake of argument, call them A and B, because that's pretty generic. Again, use something that's meaningful for you. The next lines in your file should have your data. So let's just enter a few numbers here. And these are selected from a data set that was in the book. And that should be more than enough. Notice that I had a new line at the end of the last line. If you leave the last line partially completed, R is going to complain about it. So make sure you press enter on that last line to make sure that you have at least one blank line in your file. And then we're going to go to the file menu and save this file, or save as. And for the sake of argument, you can put it anywhere you want to, but for the moment we're going to put it on the C drive, in the temp folder, and let's go and say all files for our file type, and let's call this related.csv because this is for a related t-test. Now we have our file. Now we go into R. We need to now set our working directory to be the place where we saved our file, in this case the ctemp. By the way, I found out that you can also just use a forward slash and that works just as well. Either one of them will be fine. Now we need to read in that data frame from the CSV file. You can use any file name you want for the data frame. I usually use D because it's easier to type. And so let's read CSV, and we call this related.csv. And now again, I want to check to see that everything is OK. So if I say, what are the names of D, it gives me my column headers. And if I say, show D, rows 1 through 3, and all columns, I can see that my data is there. Now the question is, is this interval data or ordinal data? If it's interval data, or ratio data, then we need to use a real t-test. So we'll do a real t-test of the A column against the B column, paired equals true. And that gives us our information that we were looking for. There's the t-statistic, the degrees of freedom is 8, and our probability value on this one is 0.08, not significant. If we had been doing a test with data that was ordinal and not interval, we couldn't use a t-test. Instead, we'd have to use the Wilcoxon t-test, again, comparing A, against column B, and paired equals true, and we would also want to say exact equals false to turn off error messages. So if this were ordinal data instead of interval data, the Wilcoxon test would give us a value V of 6 with a probability value of 0.10, still not significant. So that's how you do related t-tests in R.